What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your guy. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. And in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys my top 20 must have plugins for producers. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell so every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. But with no further delay, let's get right into this top 20, baby. Some, some, some. Hit the key. All right, guys. So I'm gonna do this video a little bit differently. I'm gonna break all these down into categories like instruments or effects just to save time in the video. Um, so the first three plugins that I wanna talk about are Omnisphere, UVI Percussion Factory, and The Sub. So when you look at Omnisphere, Omnisphere has been around forever. Omnisphere is great because it has over 10,000 sounds. You can layer stuff together. It's got its own effects on deck. Um, it's got a bunch of different expansions or extensions. So from Keyscape to Trillion to the Sonic extensions. Um, but with this one, um, what I like about this the most though is that you get custom controls over here and you can ARP anything. So this was what the sound sounded like initially. But you can come over here and mess with the arpeggiator and you can get it to sound however you want. And there's so many different play styles. And this is my favorite arpeggiator of all of the plugins. And here is just a few different Omnisphere melodies together. And then next we have the sub. So the sub is probably my favorite sub bass slash 808 uh, plugin out there. I like this more than sub lab. I like it more than anything else. It's really easy to use. There's a bunch of different expansion packs and it basically sounds like this. But as you look here, there is a ton of different 808s that you can choose from and that you can use. Um, they all sound different and just different flavors. What makes UVI Percussion Factory so nice is it allows for you to get different kind of drum grooves that you would have never had before. So right now I currently have uh, what's set up like right here. Super nice drum groove, you know what I'm saying? This thing has all kinds of different drums from all over the world and you can make all kinds of different grooves. But what this can do for your beat is, this is what the beat sounded like before I put the UVI Percussion Factory on there. All right, but then once we threw the uh, percussion factory on there, it got it to sound like this. Completely changes the groove up. And so if you're not good with making drum grooves or percussion grooves, this one is the it right here. The next two plugins that I have for you guys both come from Arturia. It's called the Arturia V Collection 9 and Pigments. Um, so when you take a look at the V Collection 9, the V Collection 9 is super solid because it is an emulation of over 33 different synths. So everything from the Korg MS-20 to the Juno 6 to the OP-1 to the Jupiter 8, so on, the Prophet 5V, so on and so forth. Um, but you see it's, a, it's an emulation of all of these different synths. So you're going to get all these different emulations, which is super solid. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at how that sounds. So in this project, I have a few different instances of the V Collection pulled up. So I have the Piano V3, which is a whole bunch of different pianos. I have the OP1, I have Augmented Voices, I have Selena, um, I have the Mini V3, and then I also have Pigments pulled up in this as well. And basically this is what it sounds like. So then basically this is what pigments looks like. Um, pigments is a wavetable synth that allows you basically to um, assign parameters to everywhere. And then it has a lot going on. You get effects with this. You're gonna get arpeggios. You're gonna get a lot of stuff with this plugin. Another great thing about pigments is that every time that they upgrade to like the next pigments, so when it goes to pigments five, if you already had pigments, they'll upgrade you for free. All right, guys, and the last instrument I have for you guys is definitely Arcade by Output. And um, we all know what it is bunch of different uh, sample libraries from vocals to um, old school samples to one shots, so on and so forth. Arcade is dope. So I'm gonna give you guys the difference between what Arcade can do to set your beat off. 
So this is the beat that I have right here. Just sounds like this without arcade. Okay, so it sounds all right, sounds all right, you know? But now once we throw Arcade on there. Yeah. All right, guys, so my next three plugins all go hand in hand. Um, it is Knock by Decap, it is Kickstart uh, by Nicky Romero and Cable Guys, and it is Classic Clipper by IK Multimedia. Um, so all three of these go together because these are what I use on my drums. So we'll start with Classic Clipper. Normally I throw Classic Clipper on the master track. Um, what this does is it allows for me not to have my kicks clip. Um, so when I throw this on there, boom. So it clipped right there. But once I turn this on, this is not gonna allow it to clip and I can control um, basically where I want the clip level to be at. So I can set it at six, nine, 12, or whatever it is by just rolling back the output. So watch. You can also change the slope and the gain as well. And then once I get my 808 and my kick pattern together, uh, what I like to use is this kickstart. Um, so what I do with the kickstart is, is basically what kickstart is, is it's side chaining the 808 and the kick. So every time the kick hits, the 808 pulls down just a little bit until um, the kick is done playing and then boom, the 808 comes through. So it makes it sound cleaner. So if you watch this, the 808 and the kick are actually programmed to hit at the same time, but the sub hits a little after the kick. So you'll notice as the kick is coming down, the sum starts coming back up. And that just makes for a cleaner uh, kick sub combination. And then last but not least for the drums, what I like to do is I have my kick, my snare, and my hat. I bust them out to a track, and then I normally put knock on them. And so then after I put knock on there, the drums sound like this before I put knock on there. But then after I put knock on there, So you can hear it definitely get a lot louder. You can hear the transients hitting a lot harder. What I like to mess with is this punch, the saturate, and this clip, and normally that gets me right. Um, so I just turn them up a little bit and... But you can hear how you can get those drums to knock a little bit more. All right, guys, so when we talk about plugins that every producer needs or must have, we cannot forget about Scalar 2. So Scalar 2 is probably my favorite core generating plugin right now. Um, this thing is super nice because basically you can get all kinds of different chord progressions. And you can test them out. Um, they're in their pianos and all their instruments don't sound terrible. Now, I'm not using them in my beats or nothing, but it sounds all right to get a good a good sample of what you're listening to. Um, and it's pretty easy to use. All you got to do is drag and drop the chords down here and boom, bam, they're there. Um, you got all kinds of different stuff, different artists who put together chord progressions for you. You got different kind of songs, different kind of uh, different kind of genres, all this other stuff. But then up here you get performances as well. So when the performances, you can get it to play like different phrases. So. And there's all kinds of different phrases. But you get all kinds of different stuff from strumming to arpeggios to just everything that you need to get it going. Melodies. Definitely worth checking out. And the next three plugins that I want to talk about are Reverb Intensity by Arturia. Fury by Heaviosity and RC20 by XLN. So we're gonna start here with Reverb Intensity. This is by far my favorite reverb plugin now. Um, I'm gonna let you hear what this guitar sounded like without the reverb on there and then with it on there. So this is what it sounded like without the reverb. So this is what it sounds like with the reverb intensity on there. So it's got a few different controls here, but the size control is everything. So check it out. Just a really good reverb plugin. And then while we're here, uh, Fury, this is definitely my favorite distortion plugin at the moment. 
Um, I like this distortion plugin because it's very easy to use. As you can see here, it's got a bunch of different drive modes. It's got different distortion modes and tone modes that you can mix together. Um, you can shape stuff underneath the hood. And then you have modulation as well. Very, very easy distortion to use. The guitar sounded like this without Fury on there. Now, once we throw Fury on there, And again, what's cool is you got all kinds of different modulations. So you can move that LFO if you want to. You know, you can you can make it make it move a little bit more. You can make the distortion go a little bit heavier. So you guys hear that? So you guys hear that movement? Clear as day. And again, you can change all these distortion types really easy. And as you can tell, you can get all kinds of different distortion tones very easily. But we can't forget about the GOAT, RC20. So I know most of you guys know about RC20. Obviously, this is gonna give you that vintage sound. So this is gonna give you that crackle, the wobble, the reverb, all that stuff. So Infiltrator 2 by Devious Minds was probably my FX plugin of the year for 2022. Um, when you take a look at this thing, you can do so much with this plugin. Um, you can draw LFOs. There is like so many different effects. So as you come over here, you see all the different effects that it has, all these effects. Um, plus it has spectral effects and all this other stuff. Um, you can use this to do everything from break beats to halftime to whatever kind of effect that you want. You can figure it out with this thing. So basically, um, this is what the beat had sounded like without that piece of infiltrator on there. But I put infiltrator on there just to give it a little different feel. So what's also cool about this plugin is that it has thousands of presets. And so you can find whatever it is that you need. So I can come right up into here, like let's say I want some beat mashing and I wanna, you know, do some, some basic beat repeats. Boom, I can put that on there. But it's got all kinds of different stuff. Delays, destruction, distortion, enhancement, filters, just all kinds of stuff that you can use. A few more plugins that I wanna talk about are Guitar Rig, Looperator, Portal, and Dual Delay. So Guitar Rig is good on anything. So this is what the guitar sounded like before I threw Guitar Rig on there. But it's like Guitar Rig can make anything sound good. You can get that uh, heavy metal if you need it. And then we have good old Looperator. So if you don't know what Looperator is, Looperator is a plugin that allows you to put different effects in different steps in your sequence. So all these are different effects. So this is what the beat sounded like before I threw Looperator on there. Now with Looperator on there. You know what I'm saying? And just that easy, you could switch your beat up and make all kinds of different changes. And there's all kinds of different effects. Um, there's all kinds of different stuff you can grab in here. See different slice signs, different effects, just all kinds of different stuff for you to use up in here. So if you're looking for some kind of granular effect, I still recommend Portal. I love Portal to death. Um, this is basically what the piano sounded like without Portal on there. But then once I added Portal on there, you know, it's gonna add a bunch of different grains and give it that granular effect. which is pretty dope. It's got the X, Y axis so I can move it around. And 
And then what's also cool about uh, Portal is that underneath the hood, you get all kinds of different effects. You get different kind of modulation ways. You get uh, just different way to affect the sound. And then dual delay. This has become my favorite delay on earth because it's got so much that you can do. Um, but basically we have that same sound that we just used and we threw the, um, the dual delay on there. And now it sounds like this. But what's cool too is they have a ton of different reverb types. Um, so it just get a different sound. So, but it's cool because you got rotation, tape saturation, diffusion, all this other stuff that you can mess with to, you know what I'm saying, make your delay sound even nicer. And the next must have plugin for producers, in my personal opinion, is Nectar 3. Um, Nectar 3 is basically a vocal assistant. So it's AI and it basically reads your vocals and will put a vocal chain on there for you. So this is very good if you're working with new artists or if you're not good at mixing and it works just simply like this. This is what the vocal sounded like before I throw Nectar on there. Life's a blessing even when we have to struggle. So don't succumb to the obstacles that confront you. Your dreams will come true. All right, so you see where the vocals sitting at in the mix. Now, if I hit this vocal assist and I push assist and push next, all I have to do, I want it to be modern and moderate. I don't want it to be too aggressive or nothing like that. Um, all I gotta do is push play. Life's a blessing even when we have to struggle. So don't succumb to the obstacles that confront you. Your dreams will come true. Fawns in the front view. Crypt to fit a family in with granny if you want to. That's why I'm rhyming. Microphone check. One, two. Want us all eating. Promise it's all season. Confidence is key. So why can we stop dreaming? You can't get a piece of the pot if you're not scheming. Play your cards right. Too many of us lost sight of our aspirations. Blinded by your patience. Forgetting that success comes in stages on a daily basis. You gotta show the proper dedication. Everybody got a lesson. To and then boom, you can accept it. And then you come over here and it's got all this stuff on there for you. Um, so it's got compressors, EQs, all this stuff there for you. You can check it out and you can go in there and fine tune it if you want to. And then push play and see what it sounds like. Life's a blessing even when we have to struggle. So don't succumb to the obstacles that confront you. Your dreams will come true. Fawns in the front view. Crypto fit a family in with... And that's a great start on a mix in my personal opinion. All right, guys. And the last must have plugin that I have for you guys today is Ozone 10 Advanced. Um, so when you open up Ozone 10, um, it's going to look, you know, something like this. This is basically your mastering chain. Um, so before I threw this little light cleanup on there, the beat, the, the song sounded like this. Life's a blessing even when we have to struggle. So don't succumb to the obstacles that confront you. Your dreams will come true. All right. So now once I turn Ozone 10 on, though, we got it to sound like this. Life's a blessing even when we have to struggle. So don't succumb to the obstacles that confront you. Your dreams will come true. Fawns in the front view. Crib to fit a family in with granny if you want to. And that's just a light cleanup. That's a basic preset. And I didn't mess with any of the, the and nothing over here. None of the controls or nothing like that. But you can hit this button right here. And just like in Nectar, um, it's going to wait for the audio. And it's going to give you a master. All right, guys, that's what I got for you guys today. Those are my 20 must have plugins for producers out there. Uh, make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Appreciate you guys' time as always, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Some, some, some hit the key.